My name is Pete Lyman. I'm a mastering engineer and owner of Infrasonic Mastering. We have locations here in Nashville and Los Angeles, California. I've been a mastering engineer for about 20 years. My background is I was a musician. I've been playing music since I was 16, actively playing in bands and simultaneously um, worked in the worked in the IT world for a long time before I made a full transition into mastering. I specialize in mastering for all formats including immersive and vinyl. Some noteworthy projects that we've worked on the last couple of years have been all the Chris Stapleton records, Brandy Carlisle, Jason Isbell, Fall Out Boy, Weezer, Panic at the Disco. So we cover a lot of different bases and a lot of different genres. It's nice because it keeps everything fresh. I think one of the things that sets Infrasonic apart in the, in the mastering world is that we are a one-stop shop. We are able to handle any format. We are all working on WaveLab, which allows us the flexibility to take projects, start them in one room, and complete them in another room. So when I'm done working on a full-length record, the next step is for Dan to go through, do a real-time QC, and then process reference masters that we send directly to the client. Being on the same interface and the same uh, program really helps because it's, it's very one-to-one -one seamless. We can each, you know, work on each other's projects, help each other out, or uh, if we're looking for, you know, any sort of collaboration, that just becomes super easy when you're on the same, um, the same software. Every day is different here, but uh, example of a, of a normal day here is I might come in here and work on a full-length LP, and then maybe if there's time, throw in one or two singles on top of that, and then the next day I might be strictly cutting vinyl records for the projects I've already mastered and then the next day I might be working on an Atmos project or a surround project. So it's nice I kind of try to schedule my week and break it up into sections so I can um, kind of concentrate on one task all day and then move on to the next. So typical workflow for me if I'm working on an album from scratch, we get the files from the client. I like to go in and start by assembling the album, preferably in sequence if we have that, and then I just start listening. That's the first step in any mastering project. Just listen, absorb, and you'll instinctually know where the music needs to go from there. So the first step is setting up the audio montage. From there, I use WaveLab's uh, hardware insert feature so I can play back on one track in the montage and capture on another one. So a typical album, I'll be going through my analog gear and track by track, and I will loop from my workstation through my analog gear and capture on a track by track basis, and then I can assemble those captures. One of the great functions of WaveLab in the audio montage is I can do some of the processing post-analog capture. So for instance, I might capture everything without any additional loudness limiting, add that on at the end, since that's usually, a, usually done with a digital plugin, and then I have a nice uncompressed, unlimited file that will be the basis for my vinyl cutting files. All of us here cut vinyl, and we sort of do that as a team effort. Like for instance, Ray Lynn had worked on a, a full length record recently, went through the whole digital portion, that was all approved, and then we need to cut vinyl. So we worked together to create a specific audio montage in WaveLab for cutting vinyl. Across the board, it's just easier to work in the montage. Having plugin automation now is really helpful. So if Pete's opening a session in here and working on it, Super easy for us to take it into the other room, set up for vinyl processing or digital, whatever he needs us to do. There are so many added features in WaveLab. Everything from how easy it is to set up uh, and sequence a record and create all formats at once, whether it be high-res files or a DDP. Some of my favorite features in WaveLab 11 and I would say hands down my favorite new feature that differs from all the other versions would be plug-in automation. 
So in the past, we've had to do some kind of work workarounds if we wanted to change a digital EQ in the middle of a song, and they've made it very easy. You're able to automate any parameter in any plugin just by drawing the shape like you would volume automation or pan automation or anything else. That's been a huge time saver. In addition to that, I love being able to have a reference track within WaveLab and be able to reference client or producer refs against what I'm mastering, but also not have that reference track run through any of the master bus processing. It's super convenient and super easy to set up. Since WaveLab was designed specifically for mastering, there are just so many handy features that allow us to create masters, export any file type we need, and save a ton of time. I really love the workflow in WaveLab, and that has become a big part of my process. There are so many time-saving functions in the software that I, I couldn't think of ever using anything else.